some of your uh, holly. You're going to get some of my holly. Oh. Don't forget uh, those other things. If you want more, they're down on Scarlet Road. Wait, wait, Eddie. I'll come and help. All right, so in the back here is where I put the two hookeras. Um, one of them might be a hookerella. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, put them in the back here with this Carex, um, which I'm not sure. It might actually overwinter back here. It's, you know, there's not a lot of wind back here. And also, I think it goes down to a zone four. But I can't remember what the tag said. I could check, but I think it's zone four. Um, and then I should probably show you over here. I just threw some chinchilla hay on top of this. Um, over here I have the little holly that I was growing earlier. It didn't grow much this year. Then I've got this hosta. And then over here is another hookera. Uh, Dolce Spearmint Hookera. Um, I thought it was pretty. I got it on sale. So I just thought I'd throw it in here. Um, surround it with soil and see if it can stick around. Then I've got some chives and some rosemary and stuff back here still. Lamb's ear. Uh, and then there's the uh, grapevine that uh, I was intending to grow, but didn't grow too much this year. Maybe next year, if it survives. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's that. And then this is a uh, catalpa tree that I um, didn't start from seed, but kind of did. The seed started in the ground, and then I put it into this pot. Um, and then this is just a rose of Sharon and uh, another chive. So yeah, hopefully things overwinter well here. Um, it's pretty sheltered, like there's a fence here and then this is the garage. So hopefully that works. All right, so winter pot's complete. I just put some spruce and some cedar in there and I clipped some of the holly from my next door neighbor's garden. Um, I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> um, this is the other one. And they're a little messy, but I really like them that way. I also find that when you have other plants in here, like this uh, cedar, for example, Arb Arborvitae, they uh, are protected a little bit more in the winter if you do something like this. Um, I wanted to do this today just so that I made sure that the ground hadn't already become um, frozen, and it hasn't yet. It's really just right on the cusp, but uh, yeah, so that's that pot, this is this pot, and the beginning of winter decorations has begun.